Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by implementing simple tips and proven strategies. If you need some help with your relationship, definitely look in the description box below and send me a personal email. I actually have slots for two new clients. Definitely reach out to me so we can see if we are a great fit to work together. All right, so now today, guess what? Guess what we're going to be doing today? We are going to be discussing fear once again and why fear is your comfort zone within your relationship. Let's talk about it right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Today, I have five reasons why fear is your comfort zone within your relationship. Let's jump into it. The very first one is one that most of us can relate to, which is I'm comfortable here. As much as I say I don't want to be in this relationship or in this muck and mire i know about this muck and mire if i get out of this relationship i don't know about that muck and mire over there i don't know about that devil over there but this devil right here i know about this devil and i'm used to this devil and i've um acclimated to this devil so i'm gonna stay over here with this devil i'm gonna stay over here with this muck and mire so as much as you say that you're not comfortable, as much as you say you hate what's going on there or you dislike certain things about your particular relationship that you're currently in or the non-relationship that you are in because you're comfortable as much as you want to be in the relationship, right? You're comfortable with not having to answer to. You're comfortable with not having to share. You're comfortable with not having to compromise. So as much as I want to be in a relationship, I'm actually comfortable here. Or as much as I really want to get out of this relationship because I know that I deserve more, I'm actually comfortable here. And I know all about this person. And I know what I can get away with. I know what I can't get away with. I know where I can have my money. Okay. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? I know where I can hide my money and which bank account that they don't know about. I know when I leave, they're not going to question me because I've been doing what I want to do this far, this long. So why would they start questioning me now? And even if they try to start questioning me, why would I answer? It's a whole bunch of comfort zone going on right there. Whole bunch. So as much as you say that you want to do something about it, you really ain't ready to do nothing about it because you're comfortable. Which actually brings me to point number two. The reason why you're so comfortable is because that situation that you're in, whether you're in a relationship or not, has not brought you enough pain for you to do something about it. See, you're comfortable in that relationship that's being disrespectful, not treating you the way that you need to be treated, not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated. But they ain't smacked you. They haven't come at you in a way for you to feel that you need to protect yourself and get on out of there. And that might be an extreme example, but the point is you have not felt enough pain to say, I'm ready to do something about my situation. See, you're still in talk mode. You could talk all day about what you don't like and how they need to change. And, you know, they suck at this and, you know, whatever. You can talk all day. But when it comes time to show and prove when it comes time to the action you shut down you go sit in your corner somewhere because you ain't been in enough pain you ain't tired of being sick and tired of your situation which is why you are still there the third reason why people stay in the comfort zone in the relationship that they are in is because it's scary to do something else it's scary to get out of that relationship and go and be on your own. It's scary to heal. It's scary to go through that process of this didn't work out. Why was it my fault? What did I do? What did they do? It's easier just to stay there 
and complain to everybody than to take action and do something else. Do something about your situation. So you're comfortable because it's scary to do the other thing. It's scary to have the mortgage payment on your own. It's scary to have your car payment on your own. It's scary to have to pay all the bills on your own. It's scary to be a single parent. It's scary. But guess what? It can be done because you won't be the first person to walk away. You won't be the first person to get your stuff in order, especially when you are in a relationship that you don't like or you're not in a relationship right now, right? But it's scary to put your feelings out on the line, to be vulnerable in front of somebody else in the hopes that you can actually meet the one that you say that you want. The one that's been searching for you is the one that you have been searching for is also searching for you. So it's scary. It's scary and it's time consuming to go out there and learn all of these things about this person only for it maybe, just maybe, it won't work out. And that's a scary thing to put all yourself out on the line for the potential of somebody rejecting you. That's scary. Point number four. You don't want to feel uncomfortable and awkward. Again, you're comfortable in your zone of fear. You're comfortable in this relationship, even though you really want something different. You, so you don't want to be uncomfortable. You don't want to be awkward. You're rather just, you know what, I'm just going to suck this up and live as a roommate. You know, whatever. I don't care. Or I'm just going to cheat on the side. Who cares, you know. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm just going to be there, but not really there. I'm going to be in this relationship, but it's really a business. It's not really a relationship any longer. Oh, excuse me, it is. It's a business relationship, but it's no longer a romantic relationship. Y'all don't even kiss no more. Y'all don't sleep in the same bed. Y'all don't even really talk no more and definitely don't hug no more. Y'all might still be having sex. But that's not even good anymore. Or if it is good, again, you are not willing to be uncomfortable. Because if I give up having sex, then I got to go out there and potentially find somebody. Or, oh my God, I won't have nobody to have sex with. Stop it. Stop it. And I've heard all of these excuses from clients. I've heard it all. But once they actually stop it and get really real and start to take action, their life is completely different. Their relationships, even if it's the relationship with themselves, the relationships, completely different. They are completely different people. Completely different. But they had to get over that fear. They had to come out of that comfort zone. And you do too. If you're listening to this video till now, I'm speaking to you. It is time for you to come out of that comfort zone. It is time for you to do something completely different so you can get different results. Sis, it's time. Bruh, it's time. It's time. And you're going to be uncomfortable. But that's okay, because this too should only last for a season. It's not going to last forever. It's going to be painful. It's going to be awkward. It's going to be like, oh my God, I got to do X, Y, and Z. But that is going to be the only way that you get to that blissful state. The only way. You got to get out of that comfort zone. Point number five on why you are staying in your comfort zone because fear is holding you in that relationship is because you are letting your mind play tricks on you about how there will be nobody else after. Yes, after this relationship, nobody else will want you. Which is just not true. Here's what you have to remember. Do you want you? Do you like you? Do you love you? If you can say yes to all of those things, then guess what? Somebody else can too. 
Think about it. I like myself. Like, this is my own personal example. I actually like myself. I like being with myself. I like being alone with myself. I actually like being in the company of other people, too. But I am so secure in being me. But for a long period of time, it took me a long time to get here because when I first um, got my divorce, I didn't realize how needy or how needy I was and how much I needed to be around other people because I would never be alone. I never sat with myself by myself and really let this wander because this is what people are scared of. When you are alone, that is the time that you are telling yourself who you truly are. What is the words? What are the statements? What are the phrases that you hear yourself speak about yourself when you're by yourself? Those are the things that tell you what you truly think about yourself, what you truly think you deserve, specifically when it comes to relationships. Because if you don't think that you deserve a relationship, it doesn't matter what verbally comes out of your head. There's going to be something about the way that you conduct yourself in your next relationship where you're going to mess it all up. Because you don't truly believe that you deserve to have a relationship. When in fact, all of us deserve to be loved, to be respected, to be honored, to be cherished. Because you're worth it. But you have to believe that you're worth it. You have to believe that you deserve a relationship. And the only way to do that, again, is to come out of your comfort zone. Yes, sis. You got to come out of your comfort zone. You got to go out there on all of those dates. You got to kiss all those dang on frogs before you get to your prince. Because until you do that, you will never know what you do and do not like. Because we could say it all day, but until we're in said situation... You're not going to know. You're not going to know. And so it takes a level of maturity to sit by yourself, to be by yourself. And I'm not saying where you got to become a hermit, but if you don't like being around you, just you, somebody else ain't going to like being around you when it's you and that other person or you and five other people. So again, do you like you? Do you love you? These are questions that you need to ask yourself. And the big question, what are the statements, what are the phrases that you are saying about yourself when you're by yourself? That tells you who you truly think you are, who you truly believe you are, what you truly believe that you deserve. All right, fam, let me know what you thought about this video. Did it resonate with anything that I said? Do you need to walk away from the current relationship that you're in? Do you need to stop being scared and fearful that somebody else won't love you if you walk away? Or you're single, but you don't believe that somebody is actually going to take you serious enough. Or you feel that you're overweight. Nobody's going to like me with all of this weight on. But you don't know that. Because you haven't put yourself out there. Are you willing to accept the love that you are already receiving from the people that are already around you? Or are you constantly blocking all of that love too? Because as much as you hate your comfort zone, you know about this comfort zone. And so you're stuck. So how do you become unstuck? Let me know down in the comment section below. I definitely want to know. And if you need help with yourself or your relationship, definitely send me a private email. That information is down in the description box below. And we can talk about if we are a great fit to work together. I will see you guys in the next video where we discuss how to overcome your fears. Deuces.